Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will cover the difference between synchronous and asynchronous invocations. If you guys recall, in the previous lesson, we covered the introduction and also covered the uh, key learning outcomes. And here we had our key learning outcomes, if you guys recall, and we learned that we're going to define an AWS Lambda function using BOTO3 SDK. And we'll also learn how to invoke that function as well using both the three SDK2. Okay, and we also went through the anatomy of the Lambda function. We have covered that already several times in the past. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover the difference between synchronous and asynchronous invocations. So Lambda functions could be invoked or called using many strategies or many ways. I can use the AWS Management Console. I can use the AWS SDK. I can also use Lambda API, and I can also use what we call the AWS CLI or command line interface. And I've already showed you guys before how to invoke Lambda function using the um, console. And today we'll learn how to use AWS SDK to do that trick for us. And in general, when you invoke Lambda functions, there are two strategies or two ways of doing it. First one is what we call it synchronous. And the second one is called, it's what we call it asynchronous. And I've included a link here to the uh, documentation if you guys wanted to check it out. So let's go ahead and cover the synchronous first. So when we perform synchronous in invocation, basically what happened is Lambda function will be invoked. And then what you're going to happen is you're going to wait for a response immediately from that Lambda function. So you basically invoke the function and you are expecting a response back. So you wait for the function to process the event and return a response. And synchronous invocations are best suited for machine learning workflows in general because we're expecting a response right away. However, when it comes to asynchronous invocation, Lambda, what's going to happen is Lambda will queue the event for processing. So you don't have to wait for a response from Lambda. So if you invoke Lambda function in an asynchronous fashion, Think of it as all these invocations or requests were going to be put in a queue and then essentially you were not going to be expecting a response right away. Okay, you will get a response, but not right away. So for asynchronous uh, invocation, Lambda could handle retries and can also send invocation records to a destination. So if you guys are a little bit confused about that, let me show you the actual documentation in AWS and that will make it much, much easier and simpler for you. So this is the link that I shared, <clears throat> excuse me, that I shared with you. And again, here you can invoke Lambda function with different strategies. You can either use the AWS SDK or the console or Lambda uh, API, for example, and the command line interface. And you can essentially configure the Lambda function to be invoked in a synchronous fashion or asynchronous fashion. So here, the, you should be able to see that these two here with synchronous invocation, you wait for the function to process the event and return a response. However, with asynchronous invocation, Lambda will queue the event for processing and returns a response immediately. So it will tell you, okay, I got it, but you, you're not going to be expecting a return from that function. Let me show you an actual diagram. So if you click on the synchronous invocation, you should be able to open this here. And if you guys scroll to the bottom, this basically diagram says it all. So for synchronous invocation, here I have a bunch of clients. Here I have the Lambda function. You send, you invoke the Lambda function, and then you expect a feedback or response right away, right? So that would be the feedback that you get, okay? That's for synchronous invocation. So the following diagram shows client invoking a, client, a, a Lambda function synchronously. And Lambda sends the event directly to the function and sends the function's response back to the invoker. Okay, client call the function, the function will respond immediately and return back response to the client, and the client will be expecting a response. Okay, for asynchronous invocation, here, basically this diagram, what's going to happen is the client will send the request, okay, and then it will not going to go directly to the Lambda function. It will be put in a queue, an event queue. So you're not going to be expecting any response from that Lambda function immediately or right away, because again, you are in a queue. So the following diagram shows client invoking a Lambda function asynchronously, and Lambda queues the events before sending them to the function. That's all it is. And please note there's a lot of details in here regarding the actually how to invoke it. 
uh, we're not going to be worrying about that right now in this stage of the course. And if you guys wanted to go ahead and read it, you can go ahead and read the documentation here. There's a ton of information available. Okay. All right. So let's go back to our presentation. And that's about it. That's simply all I have for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lesson, let's go ahead and show you guys how to define an AWS Lambda function using both to three SDK. So we're gonna jump right away in code and I will show you guys how to build it from scratch. Please stay tuned, best of luck, and I will see you guys in the next lesson.